Number 2, a watermelon seed has the following coordinates, x equals to minus 5 meters, y equals to 8 meters, and z equals to 0 meters. Find its position vector in unit vector notation and as a magnitude and an angle relative to the positive direction of the x-axis. Letter D, sketch the vector on a right-handed coordinate system. If the seed is moved to the x, y, z coordinate 3 meters in the x, Uh, direction, 0 in the y direction and 0 in the z direction, what is its displacement in unit, ve unit vector notation and as a magnitude and an angle relative to the x direction. Okay, so for letter A we just have to, to find the position in unit vector notation, so let's call it R1 and R1 is equal to minus 5 in the i direction plus 8 in the j direction and that's it because it's 0 in k direction don't forget to include the unit which is meters so it, this is the answer of letter A for letter B we have to find the magnitude of the vector and the magnitude of vector R1 is just the square root of each coordinate squared so minus 5 squared plus 8 squared and this gives us roughly 9.4 meters so this is the answer of letter B for letter C we, we want the angle relative to the positive direction of the x-axis the angle is equal to the tangent to the minus 1 of the y component of the vector sorry so this is not a vector anymore it's just the, the, the component so the y component of, of the vector over the x component of the vector which in this case is just 8 over minus 5 over minus 5 and this gives us two different answers it gives us minus 58 degrees in 122 degrees so we have two different answers we have to we have to choose which one is the correct one the easiest way to do that you just draw your vector in the coordinate system so let's say this is our x direction this is our y direction so let's see our vector is negative in the x direction so our vector is to the left and it is upwards because it's positive in the j direction so our vector is something like this it, it doesn't need to be perfect you just you just have to do this to find which quadrant the, the, the vector lies for example here we have two different options we have minus 58 degrees and plus 122 degrees so it's easy to see that this is the correct answer So the correct answer for letter C is 122 degrees. Okay, so letter D, sketch the vector on a right-handed coordinate system. So you just have to draw this again. So just make a better draw if you want. So if you want to just... Okay, so let's see, it's minus 5 in the i direction and plus 8 in the j direction so this is our vector over here so that's that's it okay so letter e so now we have a final coordinate let's call it r2 and r2 is equal to 3 in the i direction but we don't want to find R2, we want to find the displacement, the displacement, let's call it delta R, is equal to the final position minus the initial position. So in this case, it's this vector over here minus this vector over here, 5 in the i direction plus 8 in the j direction, and this is equal to 8 in the i direction minus 8 in the j direction don't forget to include the unit which is meters so this is the answer of letter E for letter F we have to find 
the magnitude of vector delta r so we just have to do the square root of each coordinate squared so h squared plus minus 8 squared which is equal to roughly 11 meters in letter g an angle relative to the positive x direction so we are going to do the same thing that we've done here so the angle is equal to the tangent to the minus 1 of delta r y over delta r x which is the tangent to the minus 1 of minus 8 over 8 which is the tangent to the minus 1 of minus 1 and this gives us two different answers minus 45 degrees and plus 135 degrees and we have to choose which one is the correct one so we just have to draw our vector so we can see that is positive in the x direction it is negative in the uh, in, in the y direction so it points something like this and we can see this is minus 45 degrees and it isn't 135 degrees so the correct answer is this one over here